The country marks the first anniversary of the tragic Washtgate Mall attack as M. Fisher hospitals still offer treatment to some 10 survivors. Calls for termination of the ICC cases facing Kenya at The Hague intensifies as Deputy President William Ruto tells of supporters of Pesa Mashinan in New York. And in sports, Leicester City humiliates Manchester United in a stunning comeback to snatch a memorable 5 3 win, piling pressure on the visitors. It's the 22nd of the month of September 2014. Welcome, this is GBS Morning News, and my name is Florence Ndongo. Exactly on the 21st of September 2013, the Westgate shopping mall was attacked, a memory that will forever linger in the minds and lives of so many Kenyans. To this respect, Empisha Hospital that received the largest number of patients at that time yesterday held a commemoration ceremony for the victims and survivors of the tragedy. And as Henry Mayna narrates, among the survivors, 10 patients are still receiving treatment at the facility thanks to the donation that Kenyans patriotically give. The slogan Hakuna Matata uh, may uh, four years summed up its attraction to tourists and hundreds of diplomats and aid workers who have served Kenya for years. However, a year since the Westgate attack, there is fear that Kenya is not out of the woods yet. The attack and subsequent attacks in other parts of the country may have affected the tourism sector by far and have cast a shadow of fear in the country, which as far as any other uh, foreign investment is concerned, has hit the the economy, the economy hard. And just a few minutes, the Westgate attack on the 21st of September, one year back, Dr. Raj Jetli, a senior cardiac surgeon at the Aga Khan Hospital, Nairobi, opted for a different uh, shopping center only to learn of the tragedy fate that had evaded him and his wife on that fateful day. Dr. Raj was dragged into the incidents when he had to coordinate and lead a group of other cardiologists to operating on over 60, vict 60 victims of the mall attack. On this on this first anniversary of the Westgate attack, GBS uh, reporter Eleonora Baganga had the privilege to have an exclusive interview with a cardiologist who points out that the need uh, to upgrade the skills given to our emergency response unit, particularly as the country faces this increasing menace of terror attacks. And thank you so much to Elinora Maganga for that report. And now to some politics, Deputy President William Ruto has said there is no competition between the national and the county governments on service delivery as the two are complementing each other on the development of the country. Let's take a look at that report. And the National Civil Society Congress under the Jukwala Katiba umbrella yesterday criticized uh, the push by members of the county assemblies for establishment of ward development fronts. The group says that will lead to more corruption and encourage the ward representatives to address their own personal interest and ignore service delivery. All right, and curtains have fallen on the 2014 Story Moja Festival. Since its inception in 2007, the festival has grown into an internationally established world-class event. It also brings together and celebrates critical thinkers and great minds in storytelling, sharing ideas, writing and contemporary culture. What came out from the panelists and the audience uh, this time is that poeti poets have come a long way and have evolved uh, to many different forms. Selvin Marete has more details on Glad you're still with me on this morning news bulletin. It's a beautiful Monday morning. Uh, stay here. Up next is the sports news. And welcome to GBS Sports News. MX1 champion Tutumaina and the raging Apollo Mbuki dominated the marquee conditions uh, during the fourth round of the Jamuhuri Motocross Championship. 
Elias Sherman was supreme in the junior MX 85cc, while Ivan Guya played second fiddle in the MX 1 category. Mikhail Bauman, Patrick Ghana, and the rally navigator Tim Joseph, uh, Jessop rather, overcame the dusty and bumpy tracks to be masters in the newly introduced veteran class Abra Collins with a story. And Seeds of Peace for Africa is set to facilitate empowerment for children in marginalized communities with collective programs that will promote harmony and identify budding talents as the institution marked the World Peace Day campaign in Nairobi. In the interim, Nairobi Swimmers Association began the new season as budding swimmers claimed podium places during the opening gala at Makini School on Sunday. And into the English Premier League, Manchester United surrendered a two-goal lead for the first time in Premier League history to lose 5-3 in a dramatic turnaround at the King Power Stadium. Luis Van Gaal opted to field three strikers and although his side was rewarded with three goals, they were severely punished at the back. United conceded, conceded five times to newly promoted Leicester at their, as their defensive line was exposed for all to see. Despite Angel Di Maria continuing his good start with a delightful goal and another fortunate assist, United couldn't protect a two-goal lead as they lost for the third time this season. Absolutely wonderful from the mercurial magician and Hel Di Maria. Truly fantastic goal. Well, credit to some of the Leicester supporters. Even they applauded Di Maria's effort. Chance at the other end. One back. Leonardo Joao. Maybe left off for Leicester. What an opening ceremony. Blocked by Moore. Raphael, lovely ball in. Parry by Schmeichel. Van Persie. Di Maria deflected and in. Herrera wheels away. And Manchester United have restored their two goal cushion. <laughs> and he's trying to have a penalty away again. But there was, I feel, a foul on him. Leonardo Ojoa. Well, too bad. After their last weekend 4-1 triumph over QPR, many Manchester United fans were saying that the league has just begun. I wonder what they think now that Manchester United went down to newly promoted Leicester. That has been GBS Morning News. My name is Florence Nungo. We do this again tomorrow, same time, same place. God bless you for now.